Hello again, back again. Thank you for looking in. We're continuing the talking about my collaboration with Shabak and the things that came up in this, the whole material that was given. And of course, it's all about understanding of life and what we're at and why we're here and so on. So inevitably, um, the idea of God came into it or not just an idea or a fact or whatever one likes to call it. But uh, Shabaka brought up, um, for me at least, a new way of looking at all that, but taking us away from the traditional way, at least as far as I was concerned, of looking at God in terms of a shape, or trying to put a shape in the way that I would understand of a a figure, a recognisable person, if you like, in that way. Um, but taking away from that and uh, seeing God um, as an energy, an animating force that uh, is the, um, the life in all of us, and that gives life to all of us. But um, more than that, the central feature of it was that taking away this whole thing of separation, that how we see God as a separate being. Now, in Shabaka's view, and what's conveyed to me, is more that whatever that, that animating force, that energy that is in us all, that we're all part of it, so that what we're aiming at is to reach back into that sense of unity, to free ourselves from the separation, and, and then that, that this is the purpose, essentially the purpose of our lives here is to find that way and it's why we have come on earth and come up against all the restrictions of earth to try to reach more into that um, sense of unity and to get away from the separation. <clears throat> so um, that was of course uh, tremendously, uh, at least for me, uh, it was an awe-inspiring concept, if you like, you know, that, um, and it took away all my old fears in many ways. Um, but then, uh, to understand it more, it's difficult to, we can understand, we can see a figure, if you like, and we think we can put it into some sort of a box, but what do you do with sort of um, like an energy like that. How how do we come to understand that? And uh, essentially it comes down to um, what Shabaka would have called more uh, the notion of um, love, unconditional love. Um, that this is the, the, if you like, the central force in all our lives. And um, again, it's not. It's it's a bit hard to conceive of that in a way. It's hard to conceive of something that always is, always has been. Um, no no beginnings, no endings. Um, just just is, and in the same way that we are, that we are without beginning, without end. We see in terms of, uh, of, of an eternal nowness, now, now being all. And <clears throat> that the uh, unconditional love um, maybe can be easier to look at it in terms of acceptance. That if I can accept myself as I am, but then that I can unconditionally love myself, whatever with all my failings, all the different things that I, that I would wish would be better about me, but uh, yes, that this is how I am and that I can accept myself like that. And that helps me then, of course, to accept everybody else, that I allow them their space, their particular place in the universe. and. Uh, the uniqueness and the specialness in that space. I use uh, for myself an analogy of a jigsaw puzzle, how each piece is different. You can't put one piece in another piece's place, yet the whole thing doesn't work without each piece. 
and in that way that the universe um, can't exist without us, that we are part of it and we remain part of it. Um, and uh, the, the more understanding that, that we allow for others, that they have their particular place in it. And therefore, uh, it's not up to me, indeed it's not open to me to impose my myself or my views or whatever on other people. Uh, they have their particular purpose in life and their way of living life. And uh, if I can do that and if uh, indeed um, others do that, to allow that, it, it means then that obviously the world would be a better place because you wouldn't have, say, people imposing their views on others, countries imposing their way on others, and you have all the wars and destruction and so on that have been part of the human condition for so long. So it sounds um, essentially very simple and ideally it is simple but uh, we have to go through it seems an awful lot of difficulties to try to reach more of that. And it's not just an intellectual concept, it's to do with feeling, how we can feel that and feel that sense of unity, no separation. And uh, um, again, it was part of our, if we can unconditionally love ourselves, that we can accept that maybe it'll, it takes us time to do it, um, not to worry um, <clears throat> that we're reaching towards it and uh, helping each other to reach it. Um, and uh, it, it makes us um, I suppose more, uh, well, it allows us to have more of a sense of peace in ourselves. So that was, I suppose, I'm putting it in, uh, in a nutshell in a way, but in, obviously this whole thing stretched over different sessions and there was a lot of um, other things that came into it. But I, I think I've sort of taken the, the essence of it I've tried to convey it now in our in the chat today. I hope it makes sense to you and that um, you can see how it relates to the previous talks we had about guides and so on and that what guides are doing is he helping to help, helping us indeed uh, to free ourselves from that sense of separation. So I think that that's maybe enough for today and if I can again leave it with you and thank you very much for your patience and listening. Bye for now.